What's up, Roland Empire? Just want to talk to you guys today about The Shape of Water. I know, for me, I've done the review for this one. I think, yeah, like, eh. but I, if I believe, I think I did it like a recap where I might have squished it in with a few other movies. And I thought, really, you know, with the time that we all have and just, you know, it being a good movie, subjectively, obviously, all opinion is subjective. I was like, why not just give it a little bit more of a shot? So, yeah, like... You know, you guys will probably know this movie. I don't know. How would you not? You have to know it at least, whether you like the movie or not. And The Shape of Water is the Guillermo del Toro film, which that alone for me just has me, like, you know, hooked. That's, you know, Guillermo del Toro. I have not seen every movie of his. I can admit that. But I've seen enough here and there where I can respect his work. And I just admire. I like what he has, whether it's, you know, the critically acclaimed movies, Pan's Labyrinth, whether it's him directing Blade, him doing Hellboy, doing this one now, The Shape of Water. Like, I like his vision. He is an interesting guy. Like, he's kind of like from his culture at Tim Burton kind of thing. That's what at least I've seen the, the opinions, and I kind of agree with that. But Guillermo del Toro still is his own guy. And just the heritage, I got to admit, okay, you know, it sounds a little bit biased, but the heritage way... He is, I root for this guy and I like it. Like it's a nice role model for that. But now for the like the film itself, the film. This is kinda like um a romantic kind of story thrown in with some science fiction. It's not something as big as like, you know, Star Wars, Star Trek, but it's still that element of what they thrown in and Del Toro excels at that. Like, you know, make or break his movies. There haven't been the greatest. He's had good ones, bad ones, he's had great ones. But with this one what works the best you know he brings it to the table it's that kind of element this is something right up his alley and i like seeing the effects that it has like and who would believe that you know these two kinds of people could fall in love but also then when you look at the layers and the moral of the story you're like okay i get it you know and not everybody's perfect everybody has flaws that kind of stuff and seeing how just also how much dialogue has to be conveyed it's really good it's like that mixed with the story mixed with his direction it really is a really good movie i gotta say like it, it gives you enough where like since there is limitations with it you got to be sold with the rest of it and it's really good like setting up certain kind of like integrations you have with like friends co-workers kind of thing and that's kind of like what drives it seeing del toro give this wonderful charm like i gotta double check i gotta make sure but in this movie he has his style but the uniqueness he brings into it it's really beautiful like that there's so many things okay if i haven't admitted already if I, whatever i'm admitting to now i really did like this movie and it's just it really is incredible it keeps me in, interested throughout the music, the direction, just seeing the performances, even like like Michael Shannon, someone like Michael Shannon, really. There's a lot that like is better. Like you might say some stuff could be better driven, fleshed out, but it's more about certain other, like the characters that we have to root for and and ser being justifiable, being serviceable of how you know we have our the villain we're supposed to have, our heroes that we're supposed to have. Having it be just, I don't know, just nuanced, just layered with the, the romance and the story and seeing it being like a certain time, like it's kind of like the, you know, of, of a time kind of film. It's just, it really works. It's like this really could have gone either way and seeing him kind of bounce back where his movies have still been fun to watch, but then seeing him do this one, I'm like, it's good Del Toro, you know, capture any accolades he did, get the buzz and the recognition he deserved. You know, it was a good movie, okay? Like, you might say, yeah, like, I had a good time. And it's just, it was a really wonderful, just romantic, just story that you just could really gravitate to understand. And just, it was well earned. I liked how, like, just earned the whole, like, just character development. Like, everything that it was for this movie. So, I'm going to have to get The Shape of Water an A-. minus. Let me know, guys, what you thought of this movie. How does it hold up to you? You know, how do you enjoy it and stuff like that? All this in the comments below. And as always, Roland Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.